Hey now, thanks for tuning in to another Race Grooves case unboxing video. Here we have Matchbox Cars. This is a 2018 C case assortment. Let's go ahead and pop it open. I'm a little behind with my case unboxing videos. Part of that is um, because for my reasons. Uh, others are distribution delays, things I have no control over. But uh, hopefully, hopefully you enjoy my presentation and enjoy the bonus content that I show after I do the unboxing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mix. Here you have Garbage Gulper. And this one, of course, has this moving part right here. Pretty nice. They got gold wheels and a gold lifter. And here they have gold decos. Pretty nice to uh, have matching graphics like that. Here you have the MB Excavator. MB Excavator if with the ink decoros, which is blue and yellow. You can find other Matchbox models with that uh, ink, ink paint scheme. Here you have Meter Made and a police type deco. I unboxed this one in the last video, so uh, I, that will not be part of the bonus content. Here you have Acre Maker. It's a Matchbox Originals like uh, farm vehicle or construction, you know. More than likely it's a farm, it's gonna be Acre. Ford Expedition, look who's back. Yeah, I don't think we've seen this one in a while. We're definitely gonna be taking a closer look at that one. Let's see what else do we have here. Ford Bronco 4x4, love the Skyjacker, Jacker Decos. You know, I don't, I don't know all of the different uh, companies that are involved with automobiles, like all the oil companies, all the air shocks, shocks and whatnot, but uh, wow, they do a great job with the decorations on this one. Like that Hailcat, hasn't been seen too much. This might be the second color or so, I do believe. Here we have the uh, Skidster. It's a Matchbox Originals version of a skid steer. And yes, this part does operate. Here you have Arctic Thunder. It's wide, has a wide wheelbase for stance, for, you know, for playing when you're driving with your cars. It has a wild wheelbase. You can be out there on the dirt playing with your toys. 14 Corvette Stingray. It has a police light bar on top, which is part of the window, actually. And this one, 70 Plymouth Cuda. Interesting color. You know, it's kind of neat to get different colors with different models, though. You know, everything can't be candy apple red. It kind of gets boring. There's another sample of Arctic Thunder. Here is the 43 Jeep, Jeep Willys, Willis. I do believe this was in the last case as well. Let's see, we have a couple. I see two orange, yep. Two samples of RSQ 18 tank. Rescue 18 tank with some graphics on the top. It's a clear window, clear parts. Kind of makes it cool. It's kind of fun, you know. As an adult collector, it's neat. I think as a kid, it might be more fun to have those clear parts. And for Matchbox, it's just a cost savings measure. Sand Shredder. Got your little off road vehicle. Here is a new for 2018, brand new model. Here you have the 80, 83, 33 Plymouth PC sedan. Uh, this is very cool. I've already found this in the stores. Yeah, really, really cool. Nice to see a classic car back and a classic car that's a, a real car, a licensed model, not a fantasy car, not a uh, fictitious Matchbox original. So we're definitely going to be taking a look at that one too in the case. Here we have the Plowverizer. Yeah, you know, they, they got to make up names if they're going to make up fantasy models, right? Plow, you plow the fields. And then uh, Verizer, like if you're a pulverizer, well, instead of pulverizing the dirt, you're plowverizing it, right? Plowverizer. There you go. Huge, huge metal blade in the front. It's nice that that part is still metal. I see we have two light green samples of the Land Rover 90. A lot of collectors of the Land Rover. I believe in India, they really like this model as well. 
It does have a nice nod to Matchbox's 65th anniversary in the back. There you see Matchbox 65, and it says should say anniversary underneath. Just like this logo up here on top. Um, I don't believe these are chase pieces, but I was reading that uh, not all of them, there might be a variation where they don't have that there. I don't know, can't say. I just like collecting the cars. And uh, Matchbox doesn't have treasure hunts. I would not be I would not be surprised if Mattel just decides that we're gonna put uh, treasure hunts in the matchbox, but uh, whatever. 17 Honda Civic hatchback. I do believe this is another new model for 2018. I don't recall if this was in the V case. Nice to see just regular, regular licensed cars. And that's what's nice about the Matchbox brand is they pretty much, uh, when they do the cars, they just do them stock like you would have it on the street. So it does have headlight decorations and taillight decorations. I'll be opening up one of those for the bonus content and I have other plans as well. H2O glider. You have your little uh, pontoon, <laughs> not pontoon, pontoon boat. Uh, let's see the base code L01. These were made the first week first week of 20 first week of 2018 l will be the designation for 2018 and it might be a little easier to see it on the light gray base here uh the, the, i don't this one did not get the uh, code imprint let me find one to where it's easier to see l01 there you have it l01 it's easier to see it on the chrome base right there that means it was produced the first week and L is for 2018. 2018 first week, that's when this was produced. We're going to take a look at this model and some other stuff right after this break. Here we go. 33 Plymouth PC sedan. You know, the toy car manufacturers, as far as I know, especially in the $1 lineup, we're not getting classic cars like this from the 30s and 40s. They're pretty much doing modern stuff. That's why for Matchbox, I like the classic Seagrave. I'm glad that they have that one in the lineup. And now I'm glad they have a, uh, a classic car as well. Let's go ahead and take a close up of the Plymouth. On the side it says uh, police. Let's see, what does it say right there? It says police matchbox. In black letters, it's a little hard to see. It says unit 12A. That's what it looks like. Now, there's some uh, people not happy that the wheels are bigger in the back. Mm, they're pretty, it's pretty hard to tell. Yeah, they're a little bit bigger in the back. But I still, I still love seeing this model and having it in the lineup. Here you've got a spare tire in the back. Got headlights in the front, by the way. You can see them on top of the fenders. You can see them right here on top of the fenders. Very cool. Very cool to get classic models. You know, uh, Hot Wheels, they used to have classic models. And uh, Matchbox even had like a Jaguar. But uh, we haven't seen them in a long time. Hot Wheels used to have the uh, Talbo Talbot logo. Here's a sample of the Talbot logo. This one has white wall tires. It was a basic, oh, well, I take it back. I'm not sure if this was a basic issue or not. But back then, you know, the, sometimes they do cars with the white wall tires. Uh, even that's during, uh, I think this is from the 90s, could be early 2000s, uh, I'm not sure. Spare tire on the back as well. Now, this one actually, I have to check, it might have had a metal base even, let's see. Yeah, metal base at that time as well. Talbot logo, that's a very cool classic car to have. Now, this was one of my favorites right here, the Doozy. You got the 31 Doozy. That's one of my Hot Wheels favorites. Unfortunately, uh, it was... Uh, Put through the final run series, so we will not see any more 31 doozies from Mattel. Well, they could do a different one. They just final run this casting. You know, who knows? Maybe they could do another version of a Duesenberg and have that. But it doesn't seem like uh, Mattel's going that way. Metal base again. Metal body. 35 Cadillac again from Hot Wheels. Have a look at the interior. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so you got uh, you have your driver's compartment if you like the uh, sun. Uh, I'm not sure if it was uh, if it was like this before, uh, like uh, 
Mm, taxi cab, if uh, you had somebody driving for you, I'm not sure really if it was like supposed to be a daily driver at the time. Uh, could be a spare tire right there. Uh, three spoke wheels. Let's take a look at the decorations on the roof. There you go. Kind of looks like it would have been during the Mike Wilmot era. He was doing decorations like that. And unfortunately, Mattel, now we're getting, I mean, now we get like fantasy models. Hey, don't get me wrong, Great Gatsby, it's cool. It's a cool model, right? They turned it into like a, a hot rod. This is a Hot Wheels fantasy design right here. Great Gatsby. I like it, but they're, they're not doing licensed models anymore. That's why for the Plymouth to show up in Matchbox, it is pretty cool. And this one, Screamliner. This was a Halloween release. It's been in the basics in green and other colors. Screamliner, once again, classic car, but uh, it's a custom, right? They turn it into a custom. I'm not sure. I'm not sure actually if it's based on a real car to begin with. But uh, oh yeah, Matchbox, uh, thank you very much for doing this. It's very cool to see old cars in the lineup. Uh, but of course, we like seeing new cars too. 17 Honda Civic hatchback. Let's crack it open. There you go. Honda Civic hatchback. There you go. Headlight decorations. Nice color interior. Here come the taillight decorations. Got brake lights and others as well. Now, I do believe that right there is a tampo. I don't believe that's plastic coming through the interior. Kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it's just decoration right there. So, hey, that's the deal about collecting toy cars. You can get something new. You can get something old. Uh, sometimes you get fun stuff like this matchbox right here. This one, this is an older color of the H2O glider. And this was the one that was in the case. I went into the collection to get this one. Since I had this one open already, just to show you that this spins around. This way, if you're... Uh, if you're putting out a fire, if you're uh, rescuing somebody from their show, from their boat, from their ship, so this helps put out the fire. And then uh, I guess the person uh, goes inside or stands on the side right there. But uh, that, that's a look at the rotating turret as far as the Ford Bronco 4x4. I talk about the Skyjacker decoration. Mattel also used it on their Hot Wheels brand. Here's the Skyjacker Ram 1500. Looks fantastic. Really like a, they got a, they got a great logo there and looks fantastic with that paint scheme. We'll go ahead and crack open the Matchbox Ford Bronco. We don't want to just be showing uh, Hot Wheels. It's a, it's a Matchbox case unboxing video. But as far as going back into the collection and getting older Matchbox castings with, uh, from the 30s, 40s, 50s, it, it's harder for me to sort my matchbox, and so that's why it's easier for me to uh, go into the Hot Wheels. Plus, it gives me a chance to rag on them for just doing fantasy models of classic cars, like the uh, Screamliner and whatnot. And the last car we're going to talk about, well, it's a truck. You have the uh, Ford Expedition. We're going to take a look at the Ford Expedition. Now, you might, have, you might have a sample already because it was in last year's police five pack. So maybe you have that sample right there. You can see it has a, a sealed roof. No sunroof. Very nice. That was that. And that's the casting that they used for this one right here. No sunroof. That's like a forestry decoration. I'm not saying they have a sunroof version. Uh, they do have a version with a different roof. And this is from some time ago. They put a, a rescue light bar on top. Here you have the Ford Expedition. This is from about uh, 2002, 2003, I forget. Arctic Expeditions. And see, they use the emergent, emergency light bar on that as well. So, hey, if you, if you like the Ford Expedition, you have a red version coming to the singles. Last year, maybe you picked up this uh, one from the police pack. Now, um, Warner, Warner Studios, Warner Brothers, they had singles that I believe were sold at Warner Brothers, Warner Studios, and there you have Scooby-Doo. These, <laughs> these were not cheap to pick up. 
Uh, I don't remember the original price. I just remember that uh, they were not cheap. Which way is the logo go? It's kind of hard to see in the in the screen, as well as looking all the way over there. Uh, I can't make it out either way. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the the solid version. We'll go ahead and take a look at this one. Scooby Doo! I would not be surprised if it has different decros on each side. Set, go. Yeah, they look the same. Same decorations. Anyway, thanks for taking a moment to check out my Matchbox case unboxing video. What did, uh, what were you able to pick up so far, and what do you think about this being in the lineup? Thank you for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.